Thank you very much. Uh, joining me, another member of the Saints defense who had such a big night tonight. Of course, that's linebacker Scott Shanley. Uh, well, you guys really performed well all night long, especially in the second half. Yeah, I think it's just, it, I think it shows the type of work we put in throughout training camp. Uh, we're a very well conditioned team. And going all the way back to last year, we want to finish strong. We want to finish, um, you know, harder and stronger than our opponents. And that's another thing we did tonight. Talk about Adrian Peterson had his moments in the first half, but it seems like you guys made a lot of good adjustments with him. Yeah, that's definitely one of the strengths with our coaching staff and our defensive uh, players. As the game moves along, you'll never see us repeat the same mistakes, and we continue to get better as the game goes along. And Adrian Peterson, is, he's a good player. He's not a guy you're really going to you know, just shut down week in and week out, but I thought we contained him well and uh, made him throw it in some situations where they didn't want to throw it. Sean Payton uh, said afterwards this was a team win, and of course the offense is always going to be there, but tonight I think the defense stole the show. I mean, not that you want to you know, prove to people that the defense could do it, but it's nice to not carry the offense, but you know, have a team effort like that tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I think when you look at the way our offense plays week in and week out with number nine back there um, calling the plays, if we, if we play the way we're capable of playing on defense, um, there's no reason why we can't defend this championship and, and ultimately get to where we want to get to. But it, it was a good start to the season, and that's what people should expect from this defense week in and week out. Jonathan Casillas was the uh, starter uh, until he was injured in the last preseason game. Just talk about Dunbar's performance tonight. We were talking about this before. This isn't a, a new guy. I mean, he's been around a little bit. It seems like you guys had good chemistry tonight as well. Yeah, Joel, on, he's a really good player. He's, he's played a lot of football the last couple of years, mainly when guys have been hurt. He stepped in at both outside linebacker spots. A guy who kind of gets lost sometimes in the mix, but uh, he's, he's a solid player. He's a really good player. He makes plays, very reliable. He's just a smart football player who, who we know we can rely on in any situation. It's got so much was made of Darren Sharper not playing. Talk about Malcolm Jenkins and, and what he did back there tonight. You're really seeing Malcolm Jenkins kind of emerge and, and come on. I mean, we could see it throughout OTAs, training camp. He just continued to get better. And, you know, if he continues to progress, he's going to be one of the top free safeties in the league. He covers so much ground. And uh, he, he works hard. He's a hard worker. And when you're a veteran guy and you see a young guy who has that hunger and that passion, uh, you, you only want good things for him. Finally, uh, you just played these guys in the NFC Championship game on a, a few months back. But what was the difference in the Vikings tonight compared to back then? Well, I think not only did we play better, I think, defensively. Um, but, you know, it seemed like they were a little out of sync a little bit. Uh, I think you can look at, you know, Brett Favre coming back maybe two weeks before the season. And, you know, we, they'd had 20 games under their belt when we played them last time. So they were really in sync. But, uh, you know, I, I, can't get, I can't take away the credit from our defensive line played great. They put a lot of pressure on him and caused a lot of uh, erratic throws. I right, appreciate you taking the time. Great game tonight. Thanks, you. I appreciate it. All right, linebacker Scott Shanley, the big goose egg on the Minnesota Vikings in the second half tonight. We'll have much more from the Saints locker room coming up. Back to you guys.